Hello and welcome to a day in the life of a chemistry PhD student. So we're starting off with my morning routine. I always make the bed, number one rule. Always make your bed and you'll feel like you've already achieved something before the day has begun. I also get dressed almost straight away after I have my shower, which I did not show for obvious reasons. And once I'm dressed, I also like to have a bite to eat. Um, I don't always eat before I go to the lab, but this morning I was feeling particularly peckish. I arrived at the lab just before nine o'clock and depending on the day, I'll sometimes come at eight, I'll sometimes come at nine. And I switched on the centrifuge for my colleague Federica because she wasn't coming until later in the day, made sure it was at four degrees for her and also removed her flask from the incubator. So usually the first thing I do when I arrive at the office is I check my schedule for the day and I would make a kind of time blocking schedule saying from 9 to 10 I need to do this, from 10 to 11 I need to do this as you can see here but I had already made this one the day before because I knew I needed to be organised for this video so I just had a look to see what I needed to do for the day. My first task of the day was to dry my sample on the Rotavap and this Rotavap in particular evaporates water samples very very well so you always want to get in early to the lab to use this Rotavap so I was claiming it nice and early. Next I headed to the solvent cupboard as I had to check how many solvent bottles we had as I was on solvent duty for that day and this process just involved checking how many solvent bottles we have and checking if we need to order any solvents to collect for the lab. It ended up that we had lots of solvents, so I headed to the HPLC, which was my station for the day. And the first thing when doing the HPLC purification is that you need to check how much of the mobile phase is in the bottle. So here I am checking the levels of the mobile phase bottles to see if I need to prepare any extra mobile phase. And this is a reverse phase system. So we use water and we use methanol as our mobile phases. And the levels were not up to the top so I started to prepare some more mobile phases. I decided to just make an extra litre of each of the mobile phases just to make sure that I definitely had enough for the analysis for the rest of the day. Before you add mobile phases to an HPLC system, it's important that you degas the mobile phase to remove the air so that you don't get air bubbles into the HPLC. So I do this for both of my mobile phases and I let them degas for five minutes. And here I am after the degassing is finished, just adding the mobile phase to the correct bottle. So this is when things start to get interesting. So I didn't realize that my sample wasn't dry as I'd been ill the last two days and hadn't checked the sample because I wasn't in the lab. So here I am putting it in the freeze dryer to allow it to dry hopefully in time for doing the HPLC. And in the meantime, while the sample was drying, I prepared the other mobile phase, which was just water. Here I am just having a look at my notes because I was beginning to feel like my sample was not going to dry on time to do the HPLC analysis on that day. So I was kind of having a look through my notes to see if there's any other samples that were ready for purification or to just try and come up with an alternative plan on how to fill my day as it didn't look very likely that I was going to be able to do the HPLC even though I'd prepared the system all ready to go. I still added the degassed water just in case I was going to use the HPLC and I also changed the percentage of methanol to 100% so I could wash the column again just to prepare in case I was going to use the HPLC that day. Okay, so then it was 10 o'clock and I thought it was about time for breakfast so I sat down in a quiet area and made some plans for the next few weeks while eating my breakfast. When I returned to the lab after breakfast, I found that my sample had melted in the freeze dryer. So I had to put it back in the freezer and wait for it to freeze and then add it back to the freeze dryer again. As you can see, things were just not going very well in the morning. Once it was frozen, I put it back in the freeze dryer and quite frankly, at this point, I was just hoping for the best. <laughs> In the meantime, while waiting for the sample to dry, I did the second part of my solvent duty, which is taking the empty waste bottles outside to the bin.
while waiting for the sample to dry, I just did some things on my computer until lunchtime. I went for lunch at half past 12 and I went to the student union building which has lots of different food options, a shop and it also has a subway. I try to be organised and take my own lunch with me but sometimes life just does not allow that and I have to admit that I've not been very organised lately when it's come to lunch so I just grabbed a subway and headed back to the office to meet my friend for some lunch. I had my lunch break for about 45 minutes and then returned to the lab to check my drying sample. Before this I was actually chatting to Axel, one of the students I'm supervising, about his project and we were speaking about his data for about half an hour before I came to check the sample. The sample from the Rotovap was nice and dry so here I am, I added some methanol in small quantities to the round bottom flask just to re-dissolve the sample, then I'm transferring it to a weighed vial to put underneath a nitrogen dryer so then I can get the weight of the sample inside of the vial. At 3pm I had a meeting with my supervisor, I just went over the notes of things that I wanted to speak to him about while waiting for him to join and we were speaking about the paper that I was publishing so it was a very exciting meeting. My supervisor said that my paper was ready to submit, so I spent the next little while uh, putting my paper into the correct format for submission. After that, I went and put two of my samples into the nitrogen dryer so they could dry overnight. As you may have gathered, I did not manage to do the HPLC purification that day because my sample in the freeze dryer had not dried. Finally, I hung up my lab coat for the day after a bit of a roller coaster of a day with things not really going to plan. This is quite normal when you're doing a PhD in science. The plans that you make at the beginning of the day aren't always what you manage to complete by the end of the day. Science can be unpredictable and it's just one thing that you just need to deal with if you're doing a PhD in science. So it's 25 to 6, I'm heading out of the building, heading home, a little bit deflated but still happy with what I managed to achieve during the day. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this different style of video, little voiceover day in the life video, throwback to my first video I actually ever made here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for supporting my channel as always, and see you guys in the next one. Bye!